Welcome to You Should Read This. I'm Christina. I am the teen librarian at the Thera Public Library. Um, I'm going to tell you about three books in five minutes that you have to consider reading. Um, this week's theme, or this month's theme, is Read Woke. So Read Woke is um, a reading challenge we have going on currently in Beanstack. Um, there are several different challenges and it's all about reading different voices and getting kind of outside of your bubble for reading about African American voices, Native American voices, female voices, um, differently abled voices. It's really cool, you should check it out. If you go over to Beanstack, if you did it this summer, you should see the challenge. If you didn't do Beanstack this summer, um, that's okay. You can still hop in. Just go to the summer reading page on our website and look for the Beanstack login and sign up link. Um, if you don't see it, feel free to email me. Um, so with all of that intro out there so you guys know what's going on, I'm gonna talk about three books in five minutes. And go. Okay, the first one is an oldie. Um, and this is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. What it's about? More Happy Than Not is a little dystopian. Um, in Aaron's world, Aaron is our main character, um, there is a company called Leto. It's a revolutionary memory alteration procedure you can pay to alter your memories. Aaron's family doesn't have the money for the procedure, so we find him struggling to be happy after tragedy comes to his family. He finds happiness in his girlfriend Genevieve, but it's his new best friend Thomas that really gets him to open up about how he feels. But when he has feelings for Thomas that change towards the romantic, Aaron decides that he absolutely has to find uh, a way to undergo the Leto procedure and get back to normal. But what if it means forgetting himself? Why you should read more happy than not? The world feels very similar to ours and has issues about acceptance right at the front. It's quick-paced with relatable characters that lead the story, and Aaron feels like he could be someone in our own friend circle. The book also takes a turn that will smack you upside the head and have you tearing through the book. Book two, this is our newbie with Wayward Witch by Zareta Cordova. What it's about, Wayward Witch is the third book in the Brooklyn Bruja series, a series that alternates between three different sisters and each of their stories. We can't say too much about Wayward Witch, without giving the other books away. Um, so instead, why you should read it is, uh, instead we recommend you start with Labyrinth Lost, the first book in the series. That feels like a dark Latin X retelling of uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but with a better rounded out cast of characters. Um, we have the Latin X characters, LGBTQ characters. Um, it's just a really great uh, update for Alice in Wonderland. It has a great magic system as well. Um, we follow the Mortiz family and they are so lovable. I would love to see this as a TV show. Um, also, if you like sister stories, then this one is free. Audiobook pick, um, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Trigger warning here for gun violence or police violence. Uh, what it's about, Star Carter feels like she lives two lives. The poor neighborhood she lives in and the fancy school she attends. Uh, but when she witnesses her childhood friend Khalil shot by a police officer, they collide together. Uh, when Khalil's death becomes a headline, like George Floyd, Jacob Blake, and many unfortunate others, um, people begin to talk about him and start. People begin to talk about him and start to paint him with a bad reputation. As protesters take the street uh, in Khalil's name, Star and her family feel pressure. People want Star to tell them what really went down that night. Whatever she says could upend her community why you should read it. This story was first published in 2017 and is still severely relevant today. It was inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement um, and is a powerful and gripping YA about one girl's struggle for justice and she's just super fun. So those are the three recommendations for this time. Uh, every time on So You Should Read This, uh, we are going to cover a new book, an old book, and an audio book. Stay tuned and I will see you for Spooky Reads next month in October.